Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you so much for joining me on the Valder Beebe Show. It's always my pleasure for a new year and a new year. You. I'm bringing you Chef Cassandra Armstrong. She's back again. She's back to talk about the Daniel Fast. We want to give you a jump start on the new year to be as healthy as you can. Chef Cassandra, welcome back. Thank you, Valda, for having me. It's always a delight to be a part of what you're doing, your purpose in life for what you're doing and how we can help others during this pandemic. Talked about purpose, talked about doing what you love and loving what you do. And we both love what we do. And what we want to do is share this information with others. Okay, we're going to be coming up on the, the beginning of the year or at the beginning of the year when people see us talking about this. Let's talk about the Daniel Fast. We talked about it in a previous video. And if you haven't seen that, go back to my YouTube site, youtube.com uh, slash Show and watch the first video. It introduces the Daniel Fast. Chef, will you give us once again a recap of what the Daniel Fast is? The Daniel Fast is a day or a period of time that we can, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, and we think of it as a restriction, but it's really not a restriction. But what we do is a time that we can uh, adhere and uh, spend time with the Lord so that we can have clarity in the direction and in moving into the new year. Okay, so the Daniel fast is based on biblical, uh, a biblical uh, uh, challenge that uh, three of the captives in Babylon gave to someone who was taking care of them for the king. And mm -hmm. they said, you know, let us just eat fruit and vegetables and water. Is today's Daniel fast that simple? Um, basically. But it's a little bit more complex in that nowadays we have a lot of variety that we can choose from. But basically fruits and vegetables and, 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 and good water is what we use to, you know, to, to rid ourselves of toxins. So, yeah, I would say yes. Okay, if it's that simple, so there's millions of people doing the Daniel Fast then because it's so simple. Yes. Okay, just fruit just vegetables. Okay, so what if you don't have a large repertoire of fruits or vegetables? What is, what do you eat? Well, here's the, the, the beauty thing. You know, I have a lot of friends, or I should say I encounter people that say I buy all this fresh produce and I leave it in my refrigerator and it goes bad. Okay, so that means we got to get eating. I too buy avocados because I know they're great to eat, but if, and I buy them when they're rock hard, so I have time to eat them, but sure, they go bad too because I don't eat them as often perhaps as I should. Or maybe I buy too many for the amount that I eat. You know, so those are the things that we have to uh, become aware of. But basically, it's not just fresh fruits and vegetables, but it's a lot of grains. It's a lot of dry product that we can have that we probably already have in our pantry and we think, I don't know what we're going to do, do with that or how we're going to eat that or what we're, you know, so it's a time to pull those things out and use them for this period. That takes us to the pantry. So as people prepare for this Daniel fast in their pantry, what can they bring into their pantry to help them be successful? Because I eat well because I have made my refrigerator and my pantry a success starting point. Sure. You know, absolutely. I can't go into my, my refrigerator or my pantry and find cupcakes and granulated sugar. I can't find these things, even though my body remembers those things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it remembers yeah. those things, but they're not there. So now yeah. if, I'm, if I'm looking for uh, sweets, I've got to find agave or uh, even some uh, brown uh, organic cane sugar. So what I'm saying is it's prepared to be successful for me. So what should we have? in our pantry? Well, one of the things, and I happen to have a copy of 21 Days of New You, and what that book is, it has a, a section in here, a chapter in here on the Daniel Fast and what we should have, but it, ha ha it this is a great handbook so that we can be successful on the Daniel Fast. And if you, you want a copy, um, chefcassandra.com, we'll be glad to send you a copy, an autograph copy that is. But one of the things that I want to make mention of is the fact of our needs to include, you know, whole grains, whole wheat, brown rice, 
quinoa, oats, barley, grits. We like grits. Grits are very popular these days. Uh, of course, they're used to eating them shrimp and grits, but savory uh, grits are really, really a good thing. We I talk agree. about dairy. Yeah, we talk about dairy, and now with uh, a better choices of vegan product that's out there, there's non-dairy, non-meat, you know, uh, helps us to have a great sure. variety to choose from to make things really savory. Uh, whole wheat pasta, uh, whole wheat tortillas, rice cake, popcorns, nuts, seeds, Oh, legumes, legumes, um, and 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 all of that. Um, and and I was reading about this the other day. It said, and you have to be careful because depending on what you read, uh, says different things. So I saw where it said where I was doing an internet search where it says no oil, but that's not true because you can have oil as long as it's not. Um, uh, animal product of some sort, but I like to use grapeseed oil uh, for various reasons, or safflower oil, or sesame seed oil. Uh, buying them in small quantities to be able to uh, flavor your product now will will allow you to be successful here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the you know ubiquitous olive oil. Yes, yes, yeah. So with olive oil, olive oil is a great cold press cold press product that we can use in making our salad dressings with so sprinkle over lettuce or wilted or sauteed kale to give it great flavor with a little salt and pepper uh and um a little garlic powder or fresh garlic and onions and you know to make it a really good experience that's what it's really all about so going experience. into 2021 you've listed some things that people can use on the da daniel fast let me ask you about mm -hmm. this I always have to ask, what about people with underlying conditions? Where do they stand in this? Well, and my suggestion is, is always contact uh, your practitioner to, to make sure uh, that this is something that will aid you, assist you, and help you and uh, being successful with your medical condition. Um, if one cannot do, and I hesitate to say this because and then I have to be careful in saying this because it's mind over matter. But in the, in the, the mind, the body is going to follow what the mind tells it to do. So in some cases, you know, if you have to do a six to six Daniel fast, but when I think of that, that doesn't mean after 6 p.m. you can go eat your steak, you know, <laughs> or, or go have you a piece of, you know, animal protein of some sort. But um I, I think that as long as uh, from a, particularly from a diabetic standpoint that we don't, you know, uh, load up on a lot of carbohydrates, we need com complex carbohydrates that take longer to break down in your system. So it doesn't turn into starch and starch turns into sugar and sugar then of course turns into fat. And so um, we, we just need to be careful, but yes, it is doable. It is. So consult mm -hmm. your physician and then mm -hmm. that way you'll have a roadmap to where you can go rather than just mm -hmm. jumping on the road and starting the Daniel fast. The Daniel mm -hmm. fast, let's get back to the fast itself. Is this done by non-religious people? Who, who does the Daniel fast? Well, anybody can do the Daniel fast who's really into um, uh, strengthening their core. And, and I'm going to encourage people to strengthen their core as they go into the new season, uh, the winter season and a new year. So that with this pandemic out there, we need to have a whole armor on, if you will, so that we are able to fight. And so, uh, but primarily, this is for religious people who are aware of the Daniel fast, who read the Bible, who understands who Daniel was and the other Hebrew boys who were um, uh, in prison, if you will, and refuse to eat the king's meat. So from time to time, we need to restrict our bodies from eating the king's meat to know that we are still in control and that we do have the power in order to remain healthy if we just attend to our bodies in that manner. 
For those of you who want to know more about the Daniel fast that's being referenced, go to your Bible. I think it's Daniel chapter one, uh, verses 11 through 13. And do mm -hmm. some research so you can understand because in the Bible, they ask the uh, keeper, only give us fruits and vegetables and water. And mm -hmm. so you can uh, probably adhere to that or you can expand that a little bit for the 21st century. But the idea is we're going into 2021 and you're making these resolutions and all the time it's eat better, exercise more. It's always on your list. Well, here's an right. opportunity to take a look at the Daniel Fast and that may mm -hmm. help you and guide you. Chef, as I wrap up, you've got the book, The 21 Days for the Reader. What do you think they can accomplish in 21 days? Well, you know, um, you'd be surprised how, and, and you, attest, you can attest to this, how by the change of diet can, can, can control and change some of our medical uh, issues. High blood pressure, diabetes, reducing our numbers, um, 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 ideally help with constipation or having in, 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 uh, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and, and just clear out some things, you know, uh, detox our liver, detox our kidneys, um, uh, get a great colon cleanse going on in those 21 days and be more energy, not to mention have more clarity, be more energetic, I should say, but not to mention have more clarity in thought in mind. So um, a lot of benefits you will be able to, to recognize within the first three four days and most definitely within the first week. Chef, I know you're going to be doing a series of cooking classes online. How can they get to you and participate in that? Absolutely. We are in the process. I was speaking uh, yesterday, mm, pardon me, with my, my web guy and it's about the, hopefully we can get it up today. But um, what it is, is global flavors from around the world doing the Daniel Fast. And you can reach out to me at chefcassandra.com. That's chef, C-A-S-S-O-N-D-R-A dot com. And we're here to have recipes and menus and things of that item, that, that sort, so that you can be successful. Chef, I want to thank you so very much. I'm looking forward to our next installment. You guys come back because the next time we're going to be talking about something is related to food and you don't want to miss that. Chef Cassandra, as always, you know you're my favorite chef. I see you all over the place, but you're always my favorite when you're on the Valber BB show. Bon appetit. Ciao. Ciao. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.